Hi, if you are new to Fleetos, you can sign up with our free trial account. Using this, you can take your fleet business online and test all the features that help you manage trips, expenses, and other services digitally and completely. Fleetos will act as a digital repository for your all fleet management business data and account information. You can get access to every information just in a few clicks and at any time. Let's see how to sign up in Fleetos. For sign up, visit vamosis.com. Click on login option. Also, Fleetos is available in both Google Play Store and also in Apple App Store. Click on sign up option. After that, make sure the mobile number should be correct. Please make sure you fill in all the mandatory fields here. At last, please check this box and click on next. After that, fill these mandatory details as well and click on register. Upon successful registration, you will receive a verification link to your register email address. Please do click on the link to complete the registration process. Once sign in to your Fleetos account web application, you will be getting the three lines here. If you will click on that, you will get the full screen view. Very first option you will be getting as SIM tracking. With the help of this option, you can buy the credits. Here you will be getting the credit slabs, SMS price and validity. You can buy credits from minimum 1 to 10,000. Here it is showing as 1 ping is equal to 1 credit. If you want to buy the credits for you, you have to simply enter the number of credits and you can add to cart and make the payment. Else you can directly click on the buy credit option. Again you will be redirected to this same page only. The next option is live fuel price. It's in progress and in near future by clicking the metro cities you will be getting the data. Next is profile. In profile option you can see the existing profile details and also you can able to edit the profile from here. Please note that GST of 18% is applicable on the above mentioned prices. For every new user, 10 location pings they will be getting as free for their experience. After that, they can buy the credits from this page itself or they can simply click on buy credits here. In this same page, the user can view the consumed pings chart and the payment history as well. Also, the user can export the payment history in the CSV format. Profile page, the user can upload the photo or logo from here. With the help of this help option, a new page will open and here the user can search for the FAQ as per the options available. Next is, with this setting option, the user will get these options. SIM tracking, live fuel price, check license. So SIM tracking and live fuel price we have already seen. Next is check license. A new page will open. Here you have to give the driving license number, date of birth and you can check the status from this page. Again you will get the profile option from this setting option also and you will get the change password option. If you want to change the password you have to give the current and new password and just simply have to update. The new password will be updated and here at last you will be getting the logout option from settings. After that we will go to dashboard. This is the very first option of the platform. Here you can able to see the complete detail of the platform. If you will click on total vehicle you will be redirected to manage vehicle page and you can check the status of the vehicle. After that if you will click on home page you will be redirected to the trip plans. You can check the complete status that is all, loading, unloading, in transit, service, shed and no trips. Like all the tabs is mentioned in trip plans. If you will click on the total vehicles, you will be getting the list of vehicles that you have already onboarded on the platform. Also you can change the view, grid view or list view. Again we will go to dashboard. After that if you will click on ongoing trips, you can see the existing trip. If you will click on action, you can see the detail of the existing and ongoing trip. If you will click on view, you will get the complete detail of the trip. Likewise you can check the status. So with the dashboard itself you will get the complete detail of the ongoing trips. 
also you can set the date you can custom or you can set the time spam next we will check the organization tab every registered fleet owner who manages the business from more than one location has to create or add each sub organization to access all the features efficiently given in the fleet os application dashboard this feature helps the business owner to distinguish and manage their fleet operations and expenditure of each branch individually let's understand the role of organization with some example let's say you have a large scale fleet business and you are managing your fleet business from five different office locations one is primary and four is sub branches to simplify your fleet operation vamosis has given a solution to manage your business digitally with fleet os in organization tab you will not get any click option here as a fleet owner you have an organizational authority to assign work to other executives to distribute the workload using fleet os software we help you to do the same with ease fleet os has the provision to assign or distribute the work to other executives by inviting agent users to manage the fleets on your behalf also you can keep a tab on all assigned works and their progress to invite the user you simply have to give the valid email id and you can select the member as member or manager and click on invite once you click on invite the invitee will receive an email notification where he or she can choose to accept the invite like this you can invite the member after that you also can remove that if you will click on remove with the help of detail option you can also check the details of existing organization if you want to add another organization you have to simply click on this plus icon here and you have to give the organization detail organization name is mandatory you have to fill the mandatory options here here you will be getting organization name telematic user telematic url you have to put you can able to select the country sim tracking mode mileage fragile checklist submission this is basically for the driver fuel level and you can set the date format and have to click the submit button the new organization will be added from the last option you will get the assigned organization details if you will click on this you will have a chart of assigned organization if you want to remove particular organization click leave next option is trip plan once you have added all your vehicles under your organization with fleet os software then you are ready to plan trips planning trip and staying up to date with trip progress is hassle free with fleet os software the software eliminates the issue of handling multiple calls to the driver and from the driver as well our fleet os system handles 360 degree trip planning loading unloading etc from assigning drivers budgeting the trip communication with the drivers document collection vehicle handover etc actually it's time to go with the digital system rather than maintaining the records manually with the help of trip plan page you can able to add the vehicle from this add vehicle option here you can also create a trip for the existing vehicle which you have already onboarded on the platform if you will click on add vehicle you can able to add the vehicle from this page in this page you have to give the mandatory details after that you can also upload the document it is a very important feature so that no hard copies will be required all the soft copies you can directly upload it here and save it so none of the documents will be misplaced also in tire details you can enter the tire detail and after that you have to click on submit the vehicle will be saved here so we have saved the vehicle from the trip plan page itself now next is you can create a plan for the existing vehicle to create a plan simply click on create plan option again you have to fill the mandatory fields here better to fill all the fields for your convenience you can enter a plan name here you can select the tracking mode gps or sim tracking make sure if you are selecting the gps means the vehicle should have the gps installed in it and also it should be configured with our vamosis gps platform else you can select the sim tracking it is called as sim concern tracking 
In SIM concern tracking, the owner can track his vehicle with the help of his driver's mobile number. If the owner is selecting the SIM based tracking, means also he can select the duration of the pings. At what duration he wants the notification or location pings, he can select. Minimum is 10 minutes and maximum is 12 hours. Here, by default, the driver mode is single. After that, you have to assign the trip to particular driver. For that, you have to click on assign driver. The list of driver will come here. Also, with the help of this page itself, you can add the driver as well. You just have to give the driver name and the driver mobile number. Make sure the driver mobile number should be correct. With the same tab, the driver will be added. You will get the message as driver added successfully. Also in the assign driver page, you will be having the star option here to make favorite and unfavorite. Also you will be having the search option here. You have to assign the trip to the driver. Driver will receive a approval message like this. He has to approve the message. After that, the fleet owner can track his vehicle with the help of his driver mobile number. Once it's done, you can select the plan. You can select loading, ad hoc, service or shed. Suppose I am selecting a plan for loading. So here you have to give the pickup location, contact person, pickup date and time and contact number. So all these options are not mandatory yet if want you can give for your convenience. Likewise I have given the loading details here. With the help of this add location option you can give the loading and unloading location as well. Here I have given the loading location. After that you have to give the unloading location. Once done you will get the loading and unloading location here. Also one more thing while clicking on add location you can also add the location here. Likewise you have set the loading plan. In the same manner you can also set the ad hoc service and shed plan as well. Once done, you have to click on save button. You will get a pop-up message as trip has been added successfully. So likewise, we have created a trip for Anil. So you can able to check the status from this tab also. First of all, you will be getting the trip assigned detail like date and time, the vehicle number. Here you can see the SIM is not verified written because the driver has not yet approved the message. After that, you can see the starting location, end location, assigned time, fuel level, speed, some photo, image and the checklist. Please note, you will get the fuel data only if the vehicle has fuel sensor rod with GPS installed in it and phone icon here. With the help of it, you can able to see the driver mobile number. Next is attention tab. In attention tab, you will be getting the updates if the driver has updated anything from the DRS application to you. So here you will be getting the attentions, view plan, next plan and some more tabs, the reports option. If you will click on it, you will get the report. Please note, you will get the report only after the trip started and what the duration time of pings you have selected in the platform. Minimum is 10 minutes and maximum is 12 hours. After that, if you will click on this page, you will get the complete plan details. Here, the status is showing as moving to loading point and the time and date with the trip name and with the vehicle number. Also, you can see the start location, end location, date and time and the trip details. In the attention tab, you will be getting the notifications from the driver if he is updating anything from his DRS application. With the help of DRS application, the driver can upload the photo, upload the voice message as well. So in attention tab, the owner will be having multiple options. If he will click on it and if the driver will update, then all the things the owner can see here. In the view plan tab, the owner can check or review the plan. Next is next plan tab. With the help of next plan, the owner can create future plan for the same vehicle number with the help of this next plan tab. So all the features is same here like loading, ad hoc, service and shed. The owner can create a future plan for the same vehicle. Please note that only one future plan can be created with this next plan tab. Advanced planning for the same vehicle number can be done with this tab. Next is handover tab. At the time of emergency, the manager can hand over the same trip 
or same vehicle number to manager or the next driver in case he is selecting manager he have to fill the following details like pickup location date and time and the contact person and he can choose the handover option here else he can hand over the same trip to the another driver in that case he has to choose the driver he has to assign the trip to next driver and he have to give the pickup location and time next is trip details again you will be getting a four tab like sim location trip status attention list and proof of delivery also you can view the location through google map in attention list here it is showing driver has not raised any attentions this attention tab is basically for those drivers who are smartphone users and also who are using the drs application next is sim location once the sim is verified here it will show the sim is verified means the driver has accepted the tracking request from the owner next is pod pod can be updated as a form of jpg file from this tab next is expenses here the owner can check or add expense of this trip in this first the owner has to choose the expense type after that mode in this direct and driver option will be there driver mode is when the expenses paid by the fleet owner directly to the driver for the particular trip direct means the expenses when fleet owner has to pay directly to the police rto or commission brokerage etc after that he has to select the driver name date and time quantity and amount after that click on submit likewise the owner can identify the trip expenses is in loss or profit with the help of this same page you can properly plan a trip you can set the pickup location contact number contact person pickup date and time etc for loading ad hoc service and shed by doing so the assigned driver will have detailed trip information please note you can assign a maximum of 5 loading points and 5 unloading points for a single trip let's understand this with an example for example mr suraj wants the driver to load goods from 5 different locations after picking up a vehicle from ludhiana and unload at four different locations so at that time the owner can add locations accordingly next is ad hoc use this section if the vehicle is already loaded with goods that are said to be unloaded at a specific location in this also you have to give all the details here after that you have to save it next is service option if you plan to service the truck here is how you do it you have to choose the details from here if already added then you can directly choose those location from this drop down menu you have to give the pickup date and time and planned service time as well and after that you have to save this page and last is shed if you want to take the vehicle to your shed here you can give the same option and at last you have to save the page likewise you can do multiple things with the same tab that is trip plans I hope that you have clarity on planning trips for your vehicles efficiently. After every successful trip creation, your assigned driver for the trip will get notified about the details via Vamos's DRS driver application. Also, your driver can communicate the entire trip progress via the DRS app itself. Next is shared trips option. As a fleet owner or manager it becomes quite hectic to keep track of all the vehicles trip status and updating the trip details to the concerned person using fleet os software you can keep track of the trips and also share the trip details to the people who need to keep track of the same trip let's understand this with an example suppose you are managing 3 trips at a given time and one of the executive from the other side of your business wants to keep track of the movements in order to provide those trip information you can use fleet os system to share those information in a few clicks to share the trips you just have to click on trip plans select the ongoing trip click on share option upon selection you will get a pop up to choose how you want to share the trip status it can be either 
WhatsApp or in mail. Once you make your choice, you need to provide the email ID to which you want to share or if you have chosen the WhatsApp, then you will be redirected to the WhatsApp web application. Hence, you can sync your WhatsApp and share the link. Likewise, when you choose to send via email, he or she will receive an email with a link to track the trip progress. Please note that if the second person will share you the trips will reflect here. Otherwise, it will show no trips shared likewise only. Next is reports. Here you will be getting the two types of reports that is trip reports and sim tracking reports. For a fleet owner, the trip details are a great source of information to understand the business performance. Trip reports provides information such as vehicle location, trip expenses, goods loading and unloading information, vehicle performance, etc. All this information serves as a lead to understand and optimize his business plans for upcoming trips efficiently. To make the best use of trip details, a fleet owner needs all possible details in a consolidated report that can access easily instead of just having accumulated raw details. With our FleetOS software, a fleet owner or manager can get access to all the past trip details in a consolidated way that can be accessed as and when needed. Let's learn how a fleet owner can access trip reports using FleetOS. After clicking the trip reports, you have to select the driver and you will get these reports. Also, you can export it in Excel. You can view it in map as well. You can search the past reports with this drop down menus. Please note that all the above mentioned details get updated when the driver using Vamos's DRS application. You can review the complete list of expenses requests raised by your fleet driver via Vamos's DRS application and your responses on those requests. As a fleet owner, you can either accept or reject or edit the request as well. This feature will enable both the driver and the fleet owner to communicate efficiently and also keep records of attention requests in a consolidated format. Next is POD, Proof of Delivery. Using this feature, a fleet owner can upload the unloading receipt given by the driver and mark POD is received. Last is Expenses. In this section, you can check the total trip budget allocated, total amount spent, purpose of spending, etc. You can also add other expenses outside of the budget by clicking the add expense tab. You can also view the summary of expenses and balance amount in a separate column. Next option is FMS that is fleet management system. FMS plays a very important role. You can set the reminder for the multiple things so nothing will be missed and forgotten. You can set reminder as document renewal reminder maintenance log, SIM credit reminder. In all these three, you can set reminders as per the vehicle number. Also, you can set the interval, due date, mode of notification, etc. So basically, in FMS, you can set service reminder and document renewal reminders. So in service reminder, you can add the service reminder here. For that, you have to select the vehicle number select the service type you will be getting multiple service type in this drop down menu after that notify interval at what time you want to get the notifications for an instance i am selecting here one and you have to select the notify period as well here i have set one month you can set the odometer reading also just you have to fill the mandatory details select the notification type you can either select both SMS and email. You have to click on submit at last. The service reminder has been added. It will be visible in the drop down menu here. Like this, you can add the multiple service reminders from this FMS service reminder page. You can edit the reminder or you can delete as well. You can add the document renewal reminder as well. For that, you have to click on this option, select document type, Many options will be available in the drop down menu. You have to select the notify interval. 
if required you can give the amount also notification type and at last you have to click on submit the document renewal reminder has been added successfully also you can add the maintenance log here also you have to follow the same process you have to first select the vehicle number select event type event date recovery date you have to fill the mandatory fields here you have to give the odometer and click on submit like this each and everything you can keep in record with the help of this software itself next option is incentive this is specially for the drivers again it totally depends on the fleet manager what amount he has to set for one point this feature will be applicable only when the driver is using drs mobile application the driver will update the status of fleet owner through the drs application the owner can encourage him by giving him the reward points as per his performance recognition and reward are important factors to boost your drivers for their achievements why not reward your drivers through incentives for each fleet operation they complete incentivizing helps them to get encouraged with their work and stay motivated to complete the task eventually it stimulates them to give better performance for more rewards in return what are the benefits for providing reward points for your drivers commitment to the safe driving increase in productivity no smartphone distracted drivers reduces fuel cost and at last your drivers don't endanger your company's reputation so why not to take a look on this feature to grow and manage your fleet efficiently by rewarding your drivers to maximizing the performance in incentive tab you will be getting the two options that is configuration and driver incentive in configuration you can add the basic information trip levels attentions and additional no matter how much organizations do you have in your platform for each organization you can enable the incentive or disable as well after that in basic information you can add the reward points as in this option you can enable or disable the incentive for the driver as per the organization whatever task the driver is performing from the drs application it will be notified to the fleet owner and he can reward the driver for the same with this incentive option and here the fleet owner can add the points for the driver to give the incentive suppose i am adding 10 rupees for one point similarly for attentions there will be so many options as we have already checked in the screen like in attention there will be these tabs all is for the drivers who are using the drs application and notifying his owner with the help of that application then the owner can give one point the basic information updated successfully basically in incentive the configuration part is just to enable or disable incentives for particular organization in driver incentive under incentive option so here all the driver list will come so with the help of this driver incentive tab the fleet owner can give the incentive to the particular driver as per the driver name and the driver's performance like the driver incentive updated successfully after that we will check manage vehicles in this option you will be getting all the vehicles that has been onboarded on this platform also if you want to add a new vehicle you just simply have to click the add vehicle option here and you have to follow the same process and in this you can check the list of complete added vehicles on this platform also you can change the view of it like grid view or list view like that whatever details you will be updating while adding the vehicle it will show here like tonnage body type vehicle make excel type vehicle number etc and if you are uploading rc copy or any other document so it will be visible here by simply clicking it if you want to edit any vehicle detail you can also edit with this edit option here and again you have to click on save option next is driver list again in driver list you can check the complete list of the drivers that you have already onboarded on this platform also you can check who is smart driver and usual driver you will be getting a filter here 
enabled verified and initiate all means you will get all driver list which are already onboarded in the platform enabled means those who have enabled the sim concerned verified means it's about the network like geo bsnl etc at last initiate in this option you will be getting those driver list to whom the message has been initiated to their mobile numbers but they have not yet accepted the message that's what it is showing red in color so likewise you can apply a filter on it and you can check the driver if you want to delete the driver or edit the driver go ahead with this option and this option is for invitation if you want to invite the driver to use the drs application and if you will simply click on it this shows the driver has been received the drs mobile application link and if required you can add the driver from this page itself you have to give the correct driver name and mobile number and you have to click in submit the driver will be added from this page itself at last location list in location list you will be having the list of location that you have already added in your platform you can give multiple locations like loading unloading etc you can view the location you can edit it from here also you can delete it from here itself also if you want to add the location means you just have to click on add location you have to give the location name you can search the location from this tab if you want to give the other details those also you can put like this you can maintain every record in this one application itself nothing will be missed it is definitely a time saving efficient and accurate application